Paintings are magical, aren't they? Someone paints a canvas and centuries later, you can still feel the emotions the artist was feeling. They are beautiful paintings. They are paintings that make you feel happy. They are paintings that make you feel intrigued. And some paintings even scare you. But when was the last time you saw a painting that genuinely made you feel sad? And by sad, I mean really upset. A feeling so visceral and personal that it took some time to go away. The painting I'm about to show you is called Anguish and it was made by August Friedrich Schenk. Out of all the paintings he made, this one is his most popular piece. And once you look at it, you'll understand why. I'll let you look at it for a few seconds. Now think about it. How do you feel? The effect of the painting takes some time. If this painting did not make you feel bad or upset to some degree, I'm sure that it did not make you happy either. The scene you see here is a sad and depressing one. A sheep is standing all alone with a dead lamb surrounded by a murder of crows. While there is not a single human shown here, the scene makes you connect with the bleeding sheep. But what about this painting gives it the emotional impact it has? In other words, why do you feel anguish when you see this painting? Yes, the scene is sad, but there is more to it than meets the eye. There are three subtle reasons that makes this painting so powerful. And in this episode of Artsight, we are going to look at those three subtle reasons. The first and most impactful reason that makes this painting so gut-wrenching is the scene itself. The mother sheep has lost her child, the lamb is lying dead in front of her, and all she can do is cry for help with all her strength. But we know that there is no one out there to help her. We know that she is helpless and nothing can be done to comfort her. The sheep looks up at the sky and bleeds. And the artist has captured the scene right at the moment, so it looks like she is screaming in pain and anguish. The entire thing happens in a cold place filled with snow. That adds to the effect of it. You can almost hear and feel the chilly winds and the cold ground. The sky looks stormy as well with a hint of red, making the entire environment look like hell. Right up to this mark, things were sad and painful. But now, let's look at the part that makes this painting disturbing. Imagine the condition of the mother sheep who can do nothing but just cry for help while she gets surrounded by these crows who are just waiting for her to leave. We all know why the crows have come there. They have come for a feast and that makes the scene even more disturbing. The crows play an important role here. Notice how they are indifferent to what is going on, indifferent to the pain and suffering of the mother. Their expressions lack empathy and they are just looking at the sheep, completely confused as to why she is bleeding. So we have the bereaving mother surrounded by crows who do not understand what's going on and are waiting for her to leave so that they can start eating the dead lamb. Strip off the subject and look at the emotions, being alone, experiencing immeasurable pain and surrounded by people who do not understand or care about you. That hits really deep. Now once we imagine what's going to happen later, things get even darker. The sheep has two choices. Either stand there and keep crying for help until she falls down, exhausted and probably dead. Or keep walking ahead, leaving her child behind. But just as she walks, she will hear the crows eating the lamb. What can anyone do in such a situation? I cannot imagine the pain the sheep must be going through. Both choices will lead to more pain and suffering. And we all understand that. Deep down, we know what is going to happen and that is what makes us uncomfortable and so immensely sad. Now let's look at the third and most deep set reason that makes this painting so powerful. The question that we do not think about is why do we care about the sheep so much? It is one thing to feel sad for a sheep, but this scene cuts deeper. And why is that? It's just a scene of a dead lamb and a sheep with some crows around it. I don't want to sound cold, but deaths in animal world happen all the time. We've all seen National Geographic and how brutal the animal world can get. So why does this scene affect us so much? Why not just say that's sad and move on? 
Well, the reason for that is anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism is our ability to add human emotions and qualities to animals and inanimate objects. It is the reason why Pixar and other animation studios can make movies about animals and toys and make even adults cry. We project our emotions on animals and things and empathize with them. This does not mean that the animal shown here does not feel any emotion. The sheep is feeling the pain of losing a child. But the reason why it hits us so hard is because how we perceive the scene. We see the sheep as the mother and the lamb as the dead child. And think about how would a human mother feel. And the crows? The crows are viewed as a crowd of people who are just there to witness a tragedy, unbothered and without a care. They just wait there for the morning to be over so that they can gossip around. These people also feed of the dead, but in a different way. And that, folks, are the three reasons why this painting makes you feel so much empathy for the sheep. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing 